really think that reading more relationship books is the best course of action for men, for their relationships with their partner. I think the best course of action for men to improve their relationship with their partner in a healthy way for both people is for them to read more books about leadership. And when you read most books about leadership, they're going to have feminine qualities in there. They're going to talk about emotional intelligence. And there's a good reason for that, because those leadership traits and that emotional intelligence get you better results when you tie the two together, when you're trying to build something in the workplace, you're a leader. I think that's where men should start. If they ever want to understand what it means to tap a little bit more into your feminine side, reading relationship books, I think, is great. It's very good. But for a lot of men, it might just be much more abstract stuff that they're like, I don't even know, like, what am I supposed to do with this? Versus if they read leadership books, leadership books are very directive. So they often will say, do this, don't do that, use these words, don't use these words. They're very direct. So I just think that even within their relationship, they'll get better results reading book on leadership. Obviously, mind the source. You want to make sure that it's a good source, obviously. But I think that's better advice for men to improve the dynamic in their relationship because, because that helps both people to win. Because he's going to feel stronger in his masculinity without even realizing he took on some feminine traits like emotional intelligence. And she will start to notice the difference too. And these leadership books also can help a lot of men recognize the difference between healthy masculinity, being too feminine, and toxic masculinity. So for example, being a leader of a company that's highly aggressive, you're probably gonna have a, a pretty good turnover rate. People are gonna probably walk in the door and walk out the door. And that's both men and women. But if you know how to handle people and how to deal with people and how to make people feel valuable, you're more likely to retain these people.